Back now with the COVID-19 pandemic and a positive sign tonight as the Delta surge appears to be stabilizing. Here at home, the seven day positivity rate for Western New York is up slightly to 4.5%. That's still well above the state average of 2.5%. New data from Erie County shows more people are getting tested for COVID-19. Last week, there were 47,000 tests. That's up. 3,500 from the previous week, and that's the most tests in a single week since the beginning of May. And the spike in hospitalizations appears to be slowing down. Here is the latest data from Erie County. There are 147 patients being treated for coronavirus in an Erie County hospital that stayed flat for the past two weeks. And tonight, one woman beating the odds, surviving life-threatening complications from COVID-19. The 64-year-old spent seven months in the hospital. And tonight she celebrates as she's finally sent home. Reporter Ryan Arbogast has the story. The sounds of celebration represent a miracle. You gotta fight. Mary Corio of Niagara is taking her first steps outside in more than seven months, cutting the ceremonial ribbon at the doors of the Elderwood facility in Williamsville. I'm a warrior. My son, that's what he calls me. And I said to myself, you have to do this. No matter how bad it hurts, you have to get up and walk. With more than 100 of her friends and family watching in awe. I never knew I was loved like this. She's finally won. Mary Corio beat COVID. Everything is gone now. I'm breathing on the lungs I was born with. It wasn't an easy journey for Mary, and it certainly wasn't a short one. More than 150 days on a ventilator, transfers to five facilities. But she fought hard, especially for the ones she loved. I didn't have a lot of hope about walking, but I had some excellent therapists. And when they told me I could walk, I looked at their picture of my grandchildren and I said, I'm going to do it for them no matter how bad it hurts and it hurt. Her grandchildren love her too. And even though they're only three and six, Merrick and Staley can't wait to play again. <laughs> What's the first thing you guys want to do with her? Um, well, she, when we get well, she loves our talking new... about Cheerios in here, but she said, when I get home, we're going to make crepes. A long time ago, she bought me this like pottery thing where I can make bowls. So we're going to make that first and then put the crepes in there. Staley's smile says it all. How excited are you to be able to hang out with Grandma again? Like, more excited than like anything in the world you can think of. Welcome home, Mary, in Williamsville. Ryan Arbogast. 7 Eyewitness News.